What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm a little bit scared right now because I'm standing up in my kayak and there's waves everywhere. Today I decided to do a little bit of pan fishing out of the new Old Town Kayak. Again, if you guys want to check this out, I'll leave a link down below. But today's sponsor is going to be the boys over at the Guggen Squad. I'm going to be using some of their line, some of their baits today. I want to do a panfish catch and cook. I want to target them out of my kayak, which I have not done yet. Basically, I just got this bad boy. As you can see, we already launched this and I'm hauling ass over there. This lake that I'm on is super, super clear. And I've always wanted to do like a clear sight fishing video. Like basically I want to take this kayak, find us some like a weed bed, hit the spot lock button and drop down some leeches, wax worms or whatever it may be and catch some panfish. So that's what we plan on doing today. Again, huge thanks to the Googans for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out any of stuff, check out the link in the description below. Use code MINDAC at checkout and you can save up to 50% off your purchase when you guys use that code. So right now um, we're just giving a dangle out here in the middle of the lake. I don't know why I'm doing this, but we're making our way to our first spot that we're gonna check out and you guys just stay tuned it's gonna be a good one all right so little problem i just made it all the way over to the spot where i was gonna start fishing and i come to realize that my gopro is being super dumb so i don't have a gopro today boys literally all i have is this camera right here and the, the issue is I, well, I mean, obviously running a GoPro while you're fishing is like the easiest, best thing to do, you know? I'm gonna try to fish these docks for some bass or whatever and see if there's any bluegills under there. And then if there is, I'm gonna pull up, grab the tripod, set you guys up on the tripod and try filming the video then. Uh, so basically right now is like a scouting mission off camera because I forgot the GoPro batteries or whatnot. You just, batteries are being freaking dumb. So I'm gonna do a little bit of recon without the cameras. And then once I find something, I'll turn the cameras on and I'll see you guys if something's good Whew, alrighty folks it's been like a million years later and I finally found a weed bed that I wanted to stop and fish um, so I'll share the spot real quick got the party barge right there how's it going my guys and I was just trolling along with my autopilot 120 all of a sudden I'm like oh look at this weed bed right here and I don't know if you guys can see in there you guys probably can't there's a little bit of weeds right there um, this is actually all weeds you guys can't really see anything but I have some decent bluegills and sunfish right underneath us. There may be a few crappies under there. And I also saw a few bass. So I was really lucky to stumble upon this. It took me forever to find this. I mean like all day, as you can tell, it got a little bit darker, but I wanna get some lines in the water here really quick. And I just wanna show you that when I found the spot, I literally just clicked the anchor button and this this is just keeping me in place. So I'm, I shouldn't be moving at all. I'm gonna stay right in the middle of this awesome cabbage. And oh yeah, oh yeah, there's definitely some eaters down there. I'm getting pretty excited this is the all smoke pole we're gonna be running with right here it's my panfish rod and we're not running anything too crazy on it literally got a bobber right there a bead on top a split shot and then just a little bit down here we got a little bit of wax worms and a little jig right there oh man just look at all these fish right now ah i, I think you guys can see them i think you can see them i i found the honey hole there's a lot of small fish here, but I think I can weed out the small guys and, and get some eaters. So I'm, I'm getting super excited. So I'm gonna set this camera up, which obviously it kind of sucks on the GoPro. I'm sorry. Let's get to fishing. All right, let's get to it. These fish are hungry and Chaboy is gonna feed them here. Hopefully we can get some eaters for y'all. All right, we got a little bit of wax from on there, as you can see, 16th ounce jig head, and we're just gonna plop this bad boy. Like I said, there's some small ones here. So I'm gonna try to get some bigger ones to eat this um i'm gonna pull my bait away when i see a small guy there's there's for oh we had one on we had one on but he took our gosh darn waxy okay oh my gosh so many little guys um okay okay yep first one of the day just a wee little guy as you guys can see right there i i did say there's a lot of small ones here but i see a chungus one like right there Come on, Chungus, eat it. Eat it, Chungus. No. It's gonna be a lot of weeding, um, but I, I'm thinking since the sun's going down, I'm gonna have some bigger fish rolling through. At least that's what I hope. All right. Couple. There we go. Ooh, pumpkin seed. Nice pumpkin seed. Oh God, yeah, look at that, boys. Chill. Ooh, look at that, okay. I mean, I'm not mad about that. I I have to, should I keep this guy? This is actually a pretty good one. Okay, I think we're gonna keep this guy right here. First eater of the day. Let me just get my stringer out here. All right, so we got number uno. That's gonna go in the water and just chill for a second. All right, let's tie this off right here. All right, we gotta get back in there. I 
Don't, oh, yep, they're all right here. They are literally all right here. These fish are about to get the smoke here. Come on, give me a big one, give me a big one. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this, this is what we're out here catching today, boy, is just absolute tanks. Come on, big one, big one, go for it. Oh, oh I had a nice one, no. This is so hard fishing when there's a bunch of tiny ones. You want to catch the big ones, obviously, not the super small ones. Oh my God, dude. Okay, okay, maybe I should switch up the strat here. All these little ones are just nipping off the wax worms and then I'm just wasting time rebaiting. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take some goat alive right here. Yeah, I don't know, it just says fish fry and it's green. So we're gonna take this and hopefully this keeps away the smaller guys and attracts the bigger guys. I don't know, I, I'm just gonna weed through here and see if I can get some more eaters. That's what we got right there, this little guy right there, as you can see. I'm gonna locate a big one, then drop down right next to him. I don't even need a slip bobber to be honest, I just have one. There we go, that's a good one, that's a good one. I got a good one on boys. Let's go, I'm so excited right now, doing <gasps> oh, puppy, let's go. Oh, that feels so good. Catching a nice old bluegill like that after seeing these big ones swim around me, finally catching a big one. That felt amazing, like look at that. This is the biggest bluegill caught in the freaking kayak so far. Not for the day we've had, it's just so rewarding catching this guy. We're gonna put him on the stringer right here with my little pumpkin seed. Down he goes. All right, so the ticket was right there. I have a gulp, a live little, I don't know, like a little minnow thingy, tipped with a little wax worm. That is what did the trick there for that bigger one. Not sure if it's gonna work again. I mean, these little guys are still eating it. I was hoping it was gonna keep the smaller ones away and let me just catch the big ones. But there, oh my God, absolute giant right there. Get off me. See, this is, this is, the, pro this is the problem, folks. Oh my God, come on. Oh, good ones. Good ones, dude. Good ones. Come on. Honestly, I don't even know why I have a bobber on at this point. Like, I don't think it's doing anything. There we go. That's another nice one. It is running like a mother trucker. Oh boy, boys. Oh my God. Doing so many circles. Let's go. Just as easy as that, folks. You find your little weed beds, you catch some big old bluegills, and you have a nice little harvest. Woohoo! Another big one, like if you compare that to my hand. It doesn't get any better than that, folks. It doesn't get any better. Oh, oh, that one literally almost got away, boys. Not gonna, no cap. That one almost got away. We got three, three nice ones right now. Can you guys see still? Okay, cool. Oh, yep, yep, another big one. Oh my. Oh, puppy. That is a, oh, holy criminy, dude. This is the biggest bluegill of the year that I've caught so far. Oh my. Boys, look. Are you, uh. I'm speechless right now, dude. Look at this. Hold up. This is easily nine. Oh man, chill. Easily a nine inch bluegill. Oh man, okay, well, this day went from not having a GoPro to not sure if I'm gonna get a video to holy crap, I found the big panfish mother load. This is, this is just too much fun right now, boys. Oh my God. Yeah, this is hectic. I'm just seeing giant bluegills right by me right now. Oh my, yeah. I'm seeing big ones. I'm also sorry that I don't have the GoPro. If you guys like this kind of view, drop a comment down below and let me know. I mean, it's different not showing you guys my hands and stuff like that, but I don't know, maybe you guys dig it, maybe not. I don't, we'll, mm, drop comments down below. Oh, yep, looks like another eater to me, boys. Shoo, look at that. Buddy's eye got ka out somehow. I don't know what he was doing that. I feel bad for my mans right there. I mean, it's it's going pretty good so far. I would say we got we got some nice bluegills right there. Oh yeah, we love to see that. But what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, five right now. I wanna go for like eight, you know? Eight would be sufficient enough for me and Lindsay to eat maybe. I don't know, but that's that's a pretty good looking stringer so far if I do say so myself. Oh my God, I see some big ones, dude. Oh yes, yes I got a big one. He's not hooked very well though. Oh, oh, look how much he's bending my rod, dude. Okay, oh my God. Please, please. 
โอ้ม t w e a k there oh my god do you this is Gilzilla t h i this is Gilzilla oh oh my um ding all right all right all right I've been freaking out too much let's go one more nice keeper one more nice keeper I have a little bit on there still let's just come on give me one more poppy one more please. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. Oh, that's a good one right there. I just, I'm looking at a bull right now. I got a bull bluegill right here. Oops. Will he eat the wax worm? That's the question of the century. Can I get it away from all these little guys? That's the second question. Buddy, right behind you. It's right behind you. Come on. He's looking at it. I got him. I got the blue gals after, boys. This might be my last eat of the day. Yup, yup. This is the last eat of the day. Let's go. Beautiful fish right there. I don't know if you guys can see right now because the sun's right there, but let me fix this for you. Beautiful last fish right there. Let me get him on the stringer and show you guys the stringer for tonight. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. This is my catch and cook of the day. Got some nice bluegills right here. I think it ended up with about I don't know seven or six something like that. But we got some freaking delicious looking guys right there. As you can see, I'm excited to put these in my mouth. First catch and cook ever via the kayak. Coming in hot. Oh goodness gracious! I swear, folks, I'm getting so gosh darn old. All right, well, actually, I just got off the water, loading my kayak on top of my car. Yeah, let's talk about that for a second. So this son of a gun right here is super heavy, like super heavy, but I love her to death. Which reminds me, you need to help me name this thing. Drop comments down below. Help me name this. Anyway, she's really heavy, and I, you know, this was the last time that I'm ever gonna put that on top of the, my roof. Like I did it by myself, but if someone was watching me, they they would have been laughing their asses off because I looked like a huge idiot trying to do this. But I actually wanted to vlog a little bit of this. I thought this was super cool. Oh hell yeah! I mean, look at that. We got the all slab daddies chilling right there. And then they got nice lights right here. I don't know why I've never like clean fish in a fish cleaning station. I've always taken them home. I should start doing this more often because the lake that I was fishing was just right over there. And then you walk over here and bam, you can clean the fish, throw them here. They give you instructions in case you uh, don't know how. To, oh, what, a grinder switch? What? This is gonna get really interesting, folks. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to clean a bluegill real quick. I'm again, I'm not the best at it, but I'm just gonna show you a little tutorial super quick. Wow, folks, this is actually not gonna lie, one of the nicer clean things I've ever cleaned on. It's a legit like cutting table, and like the lights are nice. I don't know, I feel like it's good for filming too. So, anyways, we got our lovely bluegill right here. Okay, as you can see that, we're just gonna make a cut just like that. So I'm gonna do that right now. It helps to have a sharp knife, folks. Um, Yep, this, this knife ain't sharp, so rest in peace. This is gonna be a rough tutorial. What I like to do next is take my knife and just make tiny little cuts, just like this. Beep, 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 until I get about right here. Then I'm gonna punch my knife all the way through and then slit all the way through. So, what it's gonna look like is a little bit like this. You're gonna find that backbone. I'm sorry if you can't see very much, folks. I'm trying my best here. And we're just gonna make cuts all the way down. Nothing too hard here, folks. Anybody at home can do this. If I can do this, then you guys can for sure do it. Wow, this knife is so dull, rip. All right, then, once you feel no bones, you're gonna stick your knife all the way through, just like that, okay? Stuck my knife all the way through. Then we're gonna push down, we're gonna get all that meat and go, pachowing, just like that. So now, you're left with this and this. Then all you're gonna do is just take the meat off of the bones. So we're gonna take our knife and just go, bing. Just like that. Easy, plain and simple, folks. Oh man, hell's yeah, easily. Mm-hmm. Once you get right here, you can honestly just tear this. It's they're pretty easy to tear. You can just go like this and give her a nice tear like that. Boom. There you go. We're gonna take our knife, cut off the excess right there. And voila, not like the best job ever, but not the worst job ever. You're just gonna take your little knife, 
take the meat off of the skin. Just like that right there, boys and girls. And whoo, doggy, look at that. Boneless fillet right there. All right, folks, so you guys get the gist of how to clean these bad boys. I'm gonna clean the rest of these, and then I'll vlog the grinder part because I've, I've never seen that before. Oh yeah, boys, look at all the meat right there. We're gonna have ourselves a freaking fiesta. So all that meat is done. We're just gonna put it in our plastic bag and I'm gonna continue to spray this down and stuff like that. But you're supposed to put all the fish guts inside there and then it says, clean all fish first, done. Turn grind, turn on grinder switch. Oh shoot, it says place one fish at a time. Rip, I didn't do that. I'm just gonna press start. Oh God. Oh, it's, you guys can't really see anything, but like, it's getting after it in there, boys. Oh, man. All right, well, I think that's good, so we're just going to click stop, and then that's good. Wow, boys. So, I'm going to have to start going to more places like this and cleaning my fish, because this is so much easier just going to a place designated for this to happen instead of bringing all the fish home and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to bring these fish back to my apartment, and I'm going to show you guys a pretty cool recipe on how to cook these things. Honey. Come here, honey. Oh, what's going on, Bubba? Hey, oh, jeez. Hey, what's going on? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, we got some fur babies over at the apartment. Look at these guys. We have one, two, three, oh, God. and four dogs here. MBS, they just decided to stop by for the catch and cook. Just came for a nap at John's house. No, you came for some bluegills. We did. That's what you guys yes. drove seven hours for. You came to put some bluegills in your yes. mouth for yeah, me. Yeah, better be the best bluegill of my life is all I'm saying. Dude, leave God, me alone, I'm like napping. A bad, a bag of weenies or something. Dude, Where's we're all about water? full sense here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he's up. He's Honey, ready to go. What's up? Uncle Brad's here. <laughs> oh, God. oh, goodness, folks. It is the next day. I have some friends here, and they actually did say, hey, I want to drive seven hours to try some bluegill, which we got right here, as you guys can see. I'll let that sit overnight. That's just looking like some really nice meat. I mean, in that light, oh, my. Yeah. I'm excited. So I actually wanted to cook these a little bit different than I have usually been. Well, we're gonna cook it kind of the same. I wanna fry it, but we're not gonna fry in a conventional fryer. I just got a brand new Traeger as you guys saw in the last episode I think you guys saw. This video popped up on YouTube of this old dude grill frying stuff on a grill. And I watched it, I'm like, damn, I think I can do that. So basically all you do, we're gonna take this and we're gonna bread it up. And we do that just how we normally do. I'm gonna take some like flour, put in the flour, put in some eggs, and then we're gonna be seasoning it with some Louisiana fish fry right there, seasoned, I don't know, really know. I don't know. We're gonna season all that as normal. I'm not gonna film a whole lot of that because I know you guys know how I like to do that. Once everything's breaded, we're gonna take them out to the Traeger, which I'm having a bunch of people over here today. There's gonna be glizzies and fish on the Traeger today. Glizzies and fish, nothing better. I'm basically gonna spread all the fish out on kind of like a little tin foil sheet. I'm gonna melt one stick of butter. Then I have like this little, this guy right here. I don't know what you call this thing. What do you call this thing, Brad? That's called a base. Okay, I got a baster. I got a little baster here. I'm gonna take the butter and I'm gonna go whoop, butter, butter, blah, 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 do that on this side and then flip it over and go blah, 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 other side. Four minutes each side and we're gonna do a grill fry today on the Traeger. We're gonna see how it goes. I don't know. I got a bunch of people here to see if my cooking is up to par. I'm gonna shut up and just get to cooking. Alrighty, folks. So we got the Traeger here. Like I said, we're cooking glizzies and fish tonight. This is what the fish turned out to be. As you can see there, I decided just to bread it like normal, nothing too crazy. And I have some melted butter right there. So you're going to see the process here. Traeger, I just said to like 350 just because that's, that's, that's a safe thing to cook anything at. Brandon, he's on glizzy duty. So open up the grill. I have hickory wood pellets on there right now. It smells fantastic. So I'm going to actually put this right here. Okay. Then we're just going to do one of these numbers like this. Get a little bit of a glaze action. This this bowl is steaming hot. My, my fingers are getting toasted right now. Do one of these. Nothing too hard here. I have no clue if this is gonna work. This could have been a waste of seven bluegills, um, which we don't like that, but I, I wanna try something new. So we're gonna get this going here and Brandon's gonna toss on some glizzies and we're gonna have ourselves a nice little meal here. Really? Yep. Good. Wow, Brandon. Yeah, that worked really well, dude. Good. Let me show you how. Not that one. This is just one of these numbers like that. 
These Traggers, I tell you what, these things are really cool. If you guys want to pick up one of these, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Trager hooked me up with this one. This is the Pro Series 780, and I like it so far. I was not a big wood pellet guy until I picked up one of these things, and ever since then, never going back to propane or anything else. This is this is my future right here. We love it. Oh, hells yeah. Space them out decently. Should we get really bougie with it? I think we should, so I got this thing right here. This is called Pro. Probably don't need to do this, but I'm gonna do it just for video purposes. Plug it in there. I'm gonna set an alarm here on my Pro. So yes, and I looked it up. I think you want, we'll do 150. I think it's 150. Set it, stick it through the hole here. We're gonna take one of these guys right here and shove it right through the thickest part. So now, we're good. Close it up. It's gonna do its thing and I have an app right here, so. My app, right here. This is what my grill is at currently, 142. It needs to be at 350, so it's gonna go back up. And then there's my probe that we just set at 150. So the meat right now is at about 70, 70 degrees or so, 68, I don't know, it's jumping around. And this is actually gonna like send me a text message once it's done. So it's gonna say, yo, your meat's done. I'm gonna be like, sweet. Let's put some glizzies in our face. So yeah, anyways, um, but for the fish, we're gonna leave that in there for about four minutes. In about four minutes, I'm gonna come back out here, flip the fish over and do the other side. So you guys just stay tuned. We're gonna have a great meal coming your way. Oh yeah. I have no clue if these things are done or not. Let's just put them right here. Sit you down like that. Close the old Traeger up here. Oh man, those look pretty good. I'm gonna break off a little piece of this guy, see if it's done. I think it's done. Hot, hot, hot. It is done to me, that's good. Hmm. I put a little bit of seasoning on it off camera. It was like a Traeger, little Traeger fin and feather rub. That's good. I mean, it's not as crispy. One thing that I found out, it's kind of hard to get that crispy taste on a Traeger or even a charred taste on a Traeger. You, it's more of like a smoky flavor. So I would say the quality of meat is more smoky here. But if you're looking for that crunch, probably just do the regular fry and like oil. But, oh wow. The more I eat it, the more I like it. Let's go see what other people think about it. Eh. Ring, ring, hello. We got a lot of takers here. I, You guys just dig in and let me know what you think. Whoa. Jeez, Bud doesn't know how to put a gill glizzy in his mouth. How big was this one, John? This looks like three inch bluegill or what? Oh, no, it was an eater bluegill. Okay. Tori's vibing over there. I like it. <laughs> you know that one. You get some smoked action. Big fan. Like, you can tell it was on mm -hmm. the pellet. Not nearly as greasy either as like yeah. pan fried. I would say it's healthier probably almost. Like, cause you don't have any yeah. grease, you know? That's Only true. thing you have is a little butter basically. Yeah, I put a little bit of searage of butter. So what do you think? I think it's great, but you would need sauce, I think, with this. True. Like some cocktail sauce or something. This Ooh, would be fun. That's true. That's, that's my opinion on it. Okay. Yeah. Brando, thoughts? I'd have to agree just because like... It dried it out a little. Yeah, it makes it drier. So if you had like a little bit of dipping sauce, mm -hmm. or even if you just did like a little lemon juice over right. the top. Tori and Jack, what do you guys think? 10 out of 10. Oh, Tori! <laughs> debut on the channel, just pumping my tires up. Jack, what do you think? I'm gonna give it an 8.2. I'll take it. I'm gonna take it, dude. And just think, a little dry, you need a sauce. It is, it is a little dry, but it's healthier. That's about the only plus I got for you. It's healthier. <laughs> healthier. Yeah. And it doesn't actually make a mess either. Like that was super easy to, to do it this way. Mm -hmm. It fast. took a little bit longer. But That's true. Oh, honey. honey. What do you think? Oh, oh no, she's eating it. Do you like it? I would ask you, but you're kind of passed out, my guy. <laughs> Look at him. Dude, he has no clue what's going on. No. Like, he's just, he's just out like a light. Hmm. Honey, what'd you think about it? 
Okay, cool. Well, there you have it, folks. Everybody liked the fish. It was a lot different. I, like everybody was really like looking at it, expecting, oh, it's gonna be super crunchy and like super like greasy. Completely different. It was not even that crunchy. It just tasted literally like a, a chicken nugget almost to say. I, I don't really know. It was good, but it, it's it's a little drier, but it's healthier for you. So if you guys are looking for like kind of like more a healthy way to cook fish, maybe this is the way to try it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a great time taking out my new kayak. Again, if you guys wanna check out that kayak or any of the Guggen Squad stuff, I'll leave a link down below and the trigger for all that stuff. So make sure to check out everything in the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you guys next time.